This is Remix Report with your hosts, DJ JD and DJ J Spray. For the date of March 10th, 2010. What's up, everybody? Welcome to episode number 25 of Remix Report. I'm DJ J Spring. And I'm DJ JD. And today we have part three of our opening DJ playlist uh, talking about the tempos of 121 to 130 beats per minute. Yes, um, we have another list of songs for you guys, and as always, this isn't like the definitive list of songs you should be playing. These are just some of our thoughts that we we brainstormed a little bit, and this is just to give you guys an idea. Yeah, there's a ton of songs in this range, obviously. Um, there's a ton of house, there's a ton of mashups, there's a ton of house remixes of hip-hop and R&B and rock and pop tunes uh, that fall in this range. We really didn't include... Uh, any of those and this list is mostly just straight up pop songs that uh, would fit this uh, this tempo range definitely in the future in our playlist Wednesdays we're going to cover stuff like like 80s rock songs and the 125 to 130 range um, we'll talk more about disco and some of the classics and we'll probably talk obviously more about mashups and stuff so like JD said this is just mostly top 40 kind of stuff although we did add a few older songs to the beginning of the list. Yeah. Um, yeah, so some of those older songs would be things like uh, Groove is in the Heart, uh, Can You Feel a Beat, Rhythm is a Dancer, and uh, PYT. Yeah, we wanted to include at least one MJ song. Um, playing MJ, I mean, being an opener isn't just play old songs and stay away from new songs. It's not really that simple. So, like, as far as Michael Jackson goes, even though Billy Jean... Um, and Don't Stop So You Get Enough, even though those are older songs. I don't know if uh, I'd recommend an opener play those. Yeah, because those are still ones that are dropped a lot of times by headliners. Yeah. PYT. Um, That's probably one that, I mean, a headliner could play that. Headliners. But as we talked in our lap last episode, it's mostly about intent, and I don't think any headliner would get mad if you played PYT. No. Another one that's definitely going to get the girls going would be Girls Just Want to Have Fun. Uh, definitely gets those girls all riled up. Yes, and as far as some of the newer songs go, um, we included a lot of songs that that were sort of hits at the time, but might have lost some of their steam. Um, stuff like "Beautiful Girls" by Sean Kingston, um, that's a song that people still probably like, but you wouldn't you wouldn't really see a headliner play that. And like some of the Sierra songs, like "Get Up," that's probably one a lot of people forgot about, but I'm sure the girls would still like it if you played it. Definitely, like uh, Justin Timberlake, uh, "Love Stoned." Uh, can still get a really good reaction. Uh, Nina Sky, Turn Me On and Move Your Body. Uh, definitely our are, are hip shakers for the females. And we did include a couple songs that are kind of housey, like Lady by Mojo and September, Cry For You. But we didn't really go all out with the house, as JD mentioned in the beginning. Um, there's a lot, of, a lot of the house stuff that might have been hot a year or so ago is probably stuff that that people yeah. could play. Yeah, a lot of the early electro house stuff uh, from like two, three years ago uh, that would just sound way too cheesy to play prime time these days. And even uh, a lot of, uh, this is a good time to play maybe some uh, house remixes of hip hop tracks that, that you guys might have picked up from some of the remix sites as long as they're, they're not too hard. Yeah. Um, I'd say there's some uh, some older Flo Rida stuff, uh, In the Air and Sugar, which uh, aren't played nearly as much by headliners anymore since he has so much newer stuff out. Um, definitely would stay away from something like Low, of course, but uh, but those would be good early early set. One one way I look at it is with some of the the artists who are real hot right now, especially when you think of like Lady Gaga, or even I still I still consider Flo Riders the one of the the hot right now artists. I probably stay away from like their most popular song, which for like Lady Gaga, I still think that Just Dance. Is even though that's one of her, that's like her first big song. I still think that that might be her most popular. So I'd still stay away from that. And same thing with Flo Rida. I'd stay away with, I'd stay away from Get Low. I'm not quite in the same boat. I think Just Dance might be okay, just because she has so many other hot new songs out. But that is definitely one you would want to be really yeah, careful. That's one that uh, that J D and I talked about. So yeah. please, in the comment section, let us know who's right, <laughs> J D, or me. Um, let's see, Rihanna, of course, Please Don't Stop the Music, Disturbia, all that stuff, uh, always goes over well, um, uh, Cat DeLuna, Wine Up, 
uh, stuff like that. That's really upbeat and fun. Fergie, Fergalicious, and Glamorous. Yeah, people still dance to these songs. Um, yeah. One thing uh, JD and I also talked about is probably stay away from tracks um, above 130, 132, um, unless early on you use them to go into your into some hip hop. Because I don't think any headliner wants to come on when it's at like 138 or something. I think that might be yeah, kind of be a weird weird tempo to come yeah. in at. Um, but. This uh, tempo range, uh, depending on how you program your night, I mean, you can program your night starting off with some up-tempo and go backwards and end up uh, in a hip-hop set before the headliner comes on, or you could do the opposite. You could start with hip-hop and end up at this tempo before the headliner goes on. And if you do uh, the latter and you're at this tempo right before the headliner comes on, it can be a little, it can be a little tricky because this is a tempo that all the hot songs pretty much are at. Uh, so many hot songs. So you can, uh, if the energy is going really good with the crowd and uh, everybody's just going nuts and you're playing something like My Humps and you're like, damn, I really want to play Shots. You know, don't do it. <laughs> you got you to gotta avoid temptation here. Avoid it like the plague. You really got to hold back, show restraint, and uh, really... Just do what you're there to do, which is get the crowd ready for the headliner. It can be really tough sometimes because you really want to just blow the roof off because you would certainly probably have the ability to do so, but and I guess you probably shouldn't. Providing these lists kind of have two uses. One, the first, as we said, we want to kind of show you guys some examples, but even more than examples, you guys can actually, I mean, you kind of study this list, and, and if there's songs that you see on here that you don't play maybe you could add them to your playlist and just in case just be prepared as we as we talked about this is something that if you're gonna open up at a big club don't go into without having put any thought in, into this at all you should definitely prepare because as JD said you don't want to get to the point where you're nervous the crowds going crazy it's a big crowd even though it's only 11 o'clock headliners not gonna be on for another half hour maybe even longer and you haven't studied, and you're not sure what to do, so you almost want to reach for a big song. Yeah, you're going to just fall back into the routine of playing the normal stuff you play when you're headlining, which is not the routine you want to be in. I mean, no. you always want to be prepared. So, I mean, I know doing this whole opening playlist segment, I've taken all these songs and put them in, in playlists just so I have them there. Shout so, out to DJ Skills, who said the same thing. He's He's been checking definitely. out our, uh, our some of our playlists, too. I mean, it's, it's good because... Me and JD both brainstorm together, and we go through our iTunes, and there's some songs that ourselves we had forgotten about. Definitely, yeah. I hadn't played Sierra Get Up in no. I don't know how long. So, and there's definitely uh, a good uh, a good thing here with with this list. So definitely and take a look. Also, we mentioned last time too. Um, we'll we'll have to mention this in the future when we talk about some other playlist stuff, especially for people who have residencies. These opening lists are also a good way for residency DJs who play the whole night to spice up their night a little bit with some of these tracks that people might have forgotten about. It's a, it's a good way to, to switch up your night for DJs who have residencies. Definitely. And also listen through these tracks because not all of them have uh, really high energy. Some of these are a little lower energy, like uh, The Way You Move by Outkast. Um, Closer Neo is kind of iffy on energy sometimes, depending on if you have a remix. Um, so some of those should be played probably earlier in the night as opposed to right before the headliner goes on. So also take those things into consideration. Definitely uh, listen to them all yourself and uh, so you can program them correctly. And another thing we didn't mention is that so we, we didn't include some of the brand new songs. And I forget what it was. Someone mentioned in the comments... Um, that being an opener is sometimes a good time to, to break brand new records or test them out. I think Audio One said that. Uh, shout out to Audio One. Either way, shout out to Audio One. He's yeah. always checking in. Um, and we definitely agree with that. Um, especially early in the night is a good time to play some of your, your brand new stuff. Um, so I think that just about covers it. I think so. Okay. So let us know what songs you're playing uh, in this tempo range and uh, we'll see you in the comments. Remixreport.com